Look at all these open comedones along the lip. Now this can happen in some individuals, they may be more prone to it, but we're using gloves and applying gentle pressure to the sides. And then just gently taking it away. Now a retinol may help in this individual, but you do have to be careful because more sensitivity is possible close to the mouth. Where it doesn't come out easy, they are using that needle to open up the top a little bit better, which means there's less damage to the skin from squeezing too hard. This is really good technique. And there's a lot of them along the lip line. This person could benefit from perhaps laser treatments or chemical peels when done in the right setting and done safely. They're getting a lot of stuff out on these. Very satisfying. And it just keeps going. Now we're onto the bottom lip. I would want to make sure this person isn't using products that are really clogging up the pores because that could be contributing. But this is likely to be just the genetic makeup of their skin and they're more prone to it. It could be from chronic sun exposure that can cause these types of comedones to be more prominent. Difficult to say, of course, but absolutely satisfying to watch them get removed. You can see each one just coming out easy, almost like little insect larvae or something. That was a huge one. I hope you guys find these as satisfying as I do. I love doing these in the clinic as a dermatologist. A lot of it is done by my esthetician, but every once in a while I get to take the time to do it. There's a good little cluster there on the left side of their lower lip. We're gonna get to that in just a second. That one came out easy. This person's gonna have a great result, but unfortunately they're at risk of all of these filling up again. Boom. Just fantastic. Well done. I love it. 